Evening, everybody. Welcome to the Chris Salcedo Show here on Newsmax TV. Americans are in a growing sense of unease as the policies of the America Last political party, the Socialist Democrats, they're starting to take hold. In record-breaking time, the people who rejected America First are doing real and lasting damage to the people they were allegedly elected to represent. America Last. I'm already sick and tired of it. That's the message in tonight's preamble. Before we begin to detail all the misery and anti-Americanism that Democrats are pushing onto undeserving Americans, we would all do well to remember this. Not what you've said, but and it's not what your party is, has said. That is simply Your party a lie. doesn't say it. Your party that wants to go socialist My medicine party is and me. socialist right health care. Right now, I am the And they're going to dominate party. you, Joe. You know that. I am the Democratic Party right now. The platform of the not Democratic Party Harris. is what I, in fact, approved of. Biden is the Democrat Socialist Party. The Socialist Party is Joe Biden. After spending years pretending that they care about Russia's malign activities, after all of their lip service about opposing communist China and their human rights abuses, their slavery, and their bigotry toward blacks, the Democrat Socialists now, well, now that they're safely in power, they're coming clean about what they really think. First, and, and more generically, uh, whether it's uh, China, Russia, or anyone else, uh, we're not standing against uh, any of those countries. Um, we're not trying to, for example, contain China or keep it down. Mm -hmm. Right. Why would the American people sign onto an agenda that stands against Russia? Now, you all heard Biden's Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. U.S. government doesn't stand against a country that Democrat socialists spent the last four years saying stole Americans' voices at the ballot box. Why would Americans stand against a racist regime in China that enslaves millions and is responsible for spreading the China virus to the globe on purpose? Wait, we Americans do stand against those governments. It's Biden and his socialists who don't. What about the open border policies of Joe Biden and his Marxist-Leninists in Washington? According to Biden, Americans support his foreigners first policies, bringing in millions of illegals to be supported by U.S. taxpayers. U.S. Congressman Pete Sessions detailed the human cost to illegals, the health care crisis Biden is creating with thousands of China virus cases being ushered in every month. And in turn, Biden and his socialists will stick all of you with the bill. Uh, what a facility that was built for 250 has 4,700 people in there. Uh, no testing uh, for COVID here, just moving people through here to move them to American cities so that American cities, school districts, hospital districts, cities have to pay for these people. This isn't the federal government paying for all this. Once they get landed there in Demo where there are Democrat uh, county judges and mayors who will openly welcome all these tens of thousands of people, what will happen is, as they said, this is the tip of the iceberg. What will keep coming is millions and millions more. To be clear, this isn't the one-time payment for we Americans. We'll be paying the freight for citizens of other countries for decades to come. Even now, while black, brown, Asian, and white American kids are confined to remote learning, California teachers are braving the China virus to teach illegal alien kids in person in San Diego, something the mayor bragged about to the approving ears over at CNN. We have a convention center. It's owned by the people of this city, and we're making it available to our partners in the federal government to house, as you said, nearly 1,500 children. Right now, we're just focusing on children, making sure they're safe. Uh, we welcomed them last night, gave them a hot meal and a shower. Uh, we're going to start classes here tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do our very best to do right by these kids between now and the middle of July. Simply put, Biden's Socialist Party putting Americans last and foreigners first. But it doesn't stop there. In Washington state, a longtime hub for anti-American socialism, a charity called Friends of Youth decided to, quote, restructure in the wake of thousands of illegal alien children being allowed to flood the United States every day. The charity owned a home where Edmundo and Paula Serena Sanchez provided roughly 20 foster kids with a home for the last seven years. Foster parents are really doing God's work on earth. You need to know that, but not anymore. Because Biden and his Socialist Party value foreign nationals more than they do Americans, the Foster family was kicked out to make room for illegal alien kids. It seems 
the so-called Friends of Youth charity can make more money, your taxpayer money, to house illegal aliens than to house American foster kids. Of course, we've all seen the leaked pictures out of Texas of horrific living conditions that these illegal aliens and adults and kids alike are forced into because of socialist Democrats and their so-called compassion. As Congressman Sessions said, in one facility alone, 4,700 people are crammed into a space designed to hold 250 people. When President Trump encountered a comparatively small surge, the socialist loudmouth Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez made a beeline for Texas to cry in staged pictures at a detention facility she claimed was caging kids. But where is the woke nitwit now? She's nowhere to be found. She has no tears to shed for inhuman conditions being administered by her socialist party. Don't worry. She's providing an excuse for her absence. Are you for real? So let's talk about this because so much of our national conversation, which is not a conversation uh, about immigration, is driven by people who could not care less about immigrants. Okay, let me, okay, let me stop it right there. The reason we, we can't have a conversation about the problem is that AOC and others like her are so dumb. They don't even know what the conversation is about. The problem isn't with immigrants or immigration. It's about illegal immigration. Immigration is legal. Illegal immigration, well, is not. There are two different problems with two different solutions. The reason why we can't talk with you, AOC, is that, well, you're too uninformed to know the difference. AOC continued. Often people want to say, why are you talking about the border crisis? Or why are you talking about it in this way? Well, we're talking about it. They just don't like how we're talking about it. Because it's not a border crisis. It's an imperialism crisis. It's a climate crisis. It's a trade crisis. And also, it's a carceral crisis. What? what, what wait, wait. All of that happened over the last two years? I'll get to her absurd argument here in a second, but I'm assuming all of these issues existed back in 2019 when she staged a little photo op in Texas. Why would she show up then and not in 2021? The answer is simple, folks. She's a rather unintelligent political hack. It is she who couldn't care less about a border crisis because she knows she and her party created it. That's why she's desperate to talk about all of her little fantasy crises of imperialism, man-made global warming, and other imaginary crises that she can try to blame on Republicans for her political advantage. AOC, Biden, and the rest of the socialists don't care about Americans. They only care about power, power over those Americans. The question is, how much longer will you and the rest of our fellow citizens put up with all this idiocy being done in our names? Even though they appear to be winning at this point, I know our political enemies have one fatal flaw. They think they're entitled to power and they overreach. They may have already done so. They think that once they have power, that Americans have been conditioned to do whatever we're told, forgetting our American roots as a country of, by, and for the people. Are they right? Or are there a growing number of people like me who are sick and tired of our great country being run by leftists who put our people last. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.